Hello and thanks for watching this Acumatica video on inner company accounting. So Acumatica has a feature that allows you to, through different companies and branches, to create intercompany transactions. These are your do to's and do from's. So for example, let's say product wholesale pays a bill that was for product retail. So let's start by looking at the configuration and then we'll get into some transactions. So if we go to the finance menu and we go to our inner branch account mapping, this is where we configure how Acumatica creates these balancing entries. So if we go into product wholesale, this is the originating branch, meaning the company that you're logged into. When we create a document, such as a journal transaction, or an AP bill or an AR document, and we create a brand new one, you can see at the top of the screen, this is the summary branch that we're in. This is the originating branch. If we go back to intercompany account mapping, you can see that's when we're in that mode, when we're in that branch or company, this is the configuration that's being used. Down at the bottom are the destination branches. These are the lines that you create. So for example, this is my main branch, but when I hit the plus button and I start adding lines here, if I use, for example, product retail, and I start picking an account, and the account range itself fall into this range in the account branch. So for example, product retail, as you see, we have product retail here, and we're inside this range, in this case, it's basically every account, we will create a balancing entry to this do from related entity on the originating side. Originating side being right here. But on the destination side that matches this product retail, we will create a do to related entity. And that's how that works. So let's take a look. We'll create an AP bill for product retail, and then we'll pay for it from product wholesale. So let's create a bill. So before we do that, we'll switch over to our products retail. And we'll go to payables and new bill. We'll give it an invoice number. And we'll use our go-to vendor. We'll add a line here. It'll be $500 for advertising. And we'll just mark it for Project X. We'll take it off hold. We'll put our $500 in here. I happen to have validation on. And we'll release it. Now, if we take a look under financial details and we look at the batch, you can see that this is pretty straight up. It's a credit to accounts payable and a debit to advertising expense. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll switch back to our product wholesale and we'll make a payment and we'll make a payment to this particular bill we'll find it and we'll search for here it is right here product retail so $500 payment take it off hold and this is requiring me to print so we'll actions print check process all there's our check and we'll release this check so now if we go into our checks now that it's released look at our latest check and go to financial details and we'll look at it we have our debit to accounts payable we've relieved that AP and our credit from our checking account but what we also have is a do from product wholesale because product wholesale paid for it so that's an asset to product wholesale $500 and we have a liability in the product retail branch for $500 as well. So you notice Acumatica gives it a balancing entry description so you can tell what's going on here. 
And that's just one example. And that's based on the mapping, right? So Acumatica looked at it, it looked at the account maps and it detected it and it created these entries automatically. So now let's do something a little bit different. We'll buy product in the retail branch and we'll switch over to that and we'll go to purchases and we'll create a, we'll just jump right to a purchase receipt. And we'll pick our go to vendor again. We won't create the bill. And we'll buy a laptop, five of them. And we'll release it. So in this scenario, the retail branch owns the product. However, in this case, we'll create the bill and the liability in the wholesale branch. So we'll switch back to wholesale and we'll go into our payables. We'll create a brand new bill with this invoice. Pick go to vendor and we'll add the PO receipt So this is the one for today. And when we do that, notice it shows product retail. So this is going to create our intercompany transactions because this particular receipt was purchased by retail, but we're creating the bill under the wholesale. So we'll take this off hold. We'll match up the amount. And we'll release it. So if we go to our financial details and look at the batch, we can see that product wholesale took on the accounts payable, it's a credit for them. The inventory purchase accrual account was debited with $1,220 for product retail. That balances that out. And then product wholesale received an asset of $1,220 from product retail, which has that liability now. So you can see how flexible this is. Certainly this is a feature that can save a lot of time and entry between creating all these entries and maintaining them and ensuring that there's a proper balance. Doing it manually can be a lot of work. But in this case, Acumatica, once configured correctly, can take care of all of this for you. Now it's important to note that this works across different companies and branches. So if we go into our company screen, here's our three companies and some of the companies have branches inside of them. So and again, you can see the tree view here. There's three companies and four branches. It's also important to note that this does not function across different tenants. So you can see here I have two different companies, two different tenants, the intercompany accounting does not work across those, those you have to do manually or of course different instances. However, one thing you could do is you could configure what we call consolidation. So when you configure consolidation companies, Acumatica can import, based on your configuration here, it can import from other tenants or other companies and bring those transactions into a different ledger. And in doing that, you could create these do twos and do froms that way as well. So you could see there's a lot of flexibility. So that's it. If you have any questions about setting this up, configuring it, or buying this module, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to help. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.